In this section, we'll implement the final part, new to do has arrived section. So for that, let's go to load new button and do pretty much the same we did for the load old. So we import JQL from GraphQL tag. And uh, let's create our fetch new to do's. And we'll copy the same code that we wrote previously for getting last ID and uh, all of the to do's data. Now we also need to we need to update the cache, right? So we need to import fetch to do's from our to do's. So we have the new and the old. Now we will create a method here. We'll call it fetch newer to do's, and it will be async method. Inside, we'll get our client and is public from these props. And for that, we actually need to import with Apollo. And wrap our component with, uh, with Apollo. So we have our client, we have our public. Now we read our data from the query, so uh, from the cache. So we execute client read query, and inside we will have fetch to this query, right? And the variables will be is public. Now also we need to get last ID. So last ID, so with older we got the last time, uh, last um, item in an array, here we will get the first one. And, uh, and also we will set our state as loading. Now the response will be uh, the actual execution of the client.query. We will pass our query as a fetch new to this. We will also pass our variables. We'll pass last ID. Now whenever this is done, we can set our state as loading true, as loading false. So far, it's good. Now we check if we have uh, data in our response at all. Now if we have data, we can set new data as uh, basically a merge between response data to this and uh, data to this from the cache. And the final step, we need to update our query by execute write, update our cache by execute write query and pass our fetch to do's. Variables, which will be is public. Now we also want to toggle this uh, new load new to do's button. So we'll um, call this props toggle show. And this is uh, available on our to do's here. Basically, this is this one dismiss new to do banner. We'll write dismiss new to do banner. And inside, basically, what we'll do, we'll just set state of our new to do's exist as false to just get rid of the banner. 
So let's see if we add a new to do here. We have new to do has arrived. If we click on that, banner is dismissed, button is dismissed, and we have our test one here. Everything is working here. We have our private to do's. We can update them. We can see our online users. So, so far we have create we created the whole app and um, thanks for uh, taking this course and uh, see you in the other sections.